All right, folks, gather around and witness the plumbing rodeo. Today, we're wrangling a leaky water heater, the eight-year-old grandpa of water heaters in this here house. Now, two 50-gallon tanks side by side? That's a shower party waiting to happen, but only if they ain't leaking like a sieve. Safety first, folks, or grandma won't be happy. For gas heaters, that shiny yellow valve by the fiery dragon, gas line, needs a good old quarter turn to the off position. Safety tip. If your nose picks up the tango of rotten eggs, gas leak. Hightail it out of here and call the gas company. Don't be a hero. This ain't the Avengers. Now, the water needs to be tamed, too. Find the shut-off valves on the hot and cold water lines. Those are the gatekeepers of the watery kingdom. Here's where your trusty adjustable wrenches come in. Loosen the connections on those lines and let the water flow freely into a drain, not all over the floor. Remember, this ain't a car wash. Once the tank's empty, it's time to play plumping Jenga. Disconnect the flue peep, any electrical wires, and the gas line. Gas models only, using piper wrenches. But remember, be gentle with the gas line. It's the sensitive one of the bunch. Finally, with a friend, because this tank is heavier than your in-law's fruitcake, Carefully maneuver the old tank out of there. Installing the new tank is like putting together a water heater puzzle. Slide it in, connect it to the flue and vents, and reattach the water lines using that magic combo. Teflon tape and pipe dope. Remember, Teflon tape goes on like you're screwing on a jar lid, not a light bulb. Gas models... Time to reconnect the gas line, but this ain't child's play. Follow the manufacturer's instructions, tighten the connections, and use soapy water to check for leaks. Bubbles? That means there's a party going on where you don't want one. Tighten those fittings and repeat the bubble test until it's all sealed up. Now, let's add the expansion tank, the tiny hero that absorbs pressure and keeps your pipes safe. Think of it as a tiny sponge for your plumbing woes. Install it following the instructions and you're almost there. For some systems, we have the recirculating pump, the one that keeps the hot water flowing like a never-ending party. Reconnect that following the flow using shut-off valves, pipes, and fittings. Finally, the bonding cable, the grounding superhero of the water heater world, is essential to prevent electrical shocks. Now light the pilot light, gas, or turn on the heater, electric, and let's hope it works like a charm. If all this seems like wrangling a three-headed plumbing monster, call a licensed plumber. They're the real heroes of the hot water world. And hey, if you enjoyed this plumbing escapade, why not subscribe for more tips, tricks, and maybe even a pun or two. We plumbers may not be comedians, but we sure can fix a leaky situation and maybe make you chuckle while we do it. Did you know the average lifespan of a typical water heater is around 10, 12 years? That means it's time to call in the plumber if yours is getting close to that age. Plumbing trivia time. What was the most common material used for water pipes in ancient Rome? Answer. Lead, though they didn't know about the health risks at the time. Who invented the first flushing toilet? Answer. Sir John Harrington, though his design wasn't widely adopted. On average, how many gallons of water does a leaky faucet waste per year? Answer. Around 2,000 gallons, which is enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. What is the nickname for the toilet invented by Sir John Harrington in 1596? Answer. The Ajax. What is the recommended lifespan of a typical water heater? Answer. 10, 12 years. What percentage of the world's population doesn't have access to safe drinking water? Answer. 10%, which is a sobering reminder of the importance of clean water access. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more fun content. And for those of you who appreciate a good plumbing pun, here's one for you. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. I hope you have a great day.